The food ventures of Soy are powered by our patrons. To become a patron, click the patron link in the description box. Thanks, patrons, for helping to write Soy. All right, guys, welcome back to Stuck on an Island, where I'm stuck with you guys, and we are always smiling. Um, yeah, I've seen quite a bit of messages from you guys, um, whether it's from Instagram or just dropping comments, and people have been asking me, you know, how is it that I'm doing, or how is it that Jilly is doing? Um, for those who don't know, my best friend passed away recently, and it has been pretty crazy. And I always say, welcome back to Stuck on an Island, where I'm stuck with you guys, and we're always smiling. Uh, this time around, it's a little bit tough, but starting the video, I just thought about a couple happy thoughts. Um, I know for myself, what I've been doing to cope through these times, really, been going to the gym a little bit more often, you know, because they always say body and mind connection, it's, it's super important. You know, if you want to have a very strong mind, it's good for your body to be good as well. So I've been doing that to try to balance myself a little bit. Um, one thing I can say for this whole situation for me that it has really done is it has taught me some I guess in some ways how to be a little bit more empathetic especially to situations like this you know a lot of people go through things like these in their lives or you know people have messaged me before and told me about their losses or the tough times that they're going through and yes i can empathize but at the end of the day you can empathize so much and no more until you've really lived through that experience i know i haven't been posting a lot and of course if you don't post videos on youtube then you don't really earn as much um i was talking to a subscriber um and she reminded me about an email that i sent to her um sometime last year you know peace of mind is always better than peace of pocket and when i said that to her it was in efforts to get her to travel you know to not really think about the job too much or think about the stresses of work or are you going to be able to afford certain things because at the end of the day god will provide you know and she reminded me of what I said to her, and that's what I like about energies. You share good energies with people, and you hope that sometime when you need that particular energy, they're able to share it back. And um, in that time, or in this time, that's how I feel. You know, I'm not really enthused to really post much videos, but I thought that, you know, it made sense letting you guys know exactly where I'm at right now. Um, it doesn't mean that there's not gonna be any more Soy Vlog videos. I have set up a couple of things for the start of next year that is going to change everything you know because as i'd always think you know kurt would want to see you know continuity as he always said like the show must go on and i think that is going to be my mission to let his way of living continue to live throughout the videos so we're going to be working on quite a bit of deep stuff um we should be traveling up sometime soon um it's just so funny how things work out in life it's it's really weird that he booked a ticket for me to go up for thanksgiving and i leave the day after his funeral service it's it's really weird what else have i been up to i mean throughout this time i've been focusing on getting people gifts it's it's really weird but you know going through our friendship it wasn't a friendship in terms of just getting people gifts, but it was a kind of friendship where if you felt that somebody needed a particular thing or it would make them happy, you know, you would get it for them. And so I've been focusing on that. I've gotten gifts for Jilly already, my sister. I haven't gotten anything from my mom or for Sarah or for Kian or whatever, but every single person is going to be getting a gift. Speaking of gifts, you guys know I am an ambassador for the coldest water bottle and the blackout is going on now with up to 50% off select random drops throughout the month and up to 20% off the entire website at thecoldestwater.com forward slash blackout. Now, for me personally, you guys know when it comes down to products, I only rock with products that I love. And in this time, it's been really cool rocking with Coldest because every single bottle that you guys have bought, I've gotten a kickback, you know, so I'm not making videos right now. So revenue is definitely dropped, but it's really cool that I can shout out something that I really love and, you know, get a kickback from it. Um, I've bought a couple, I hope, well, 
I think who I've bought it for so far doesn't really watch these videos too heavily, but I've gotten a couple of the bottles. Um, people have reached out to me as well, showed me their bottles that they've gotten. And um, speaking of bottles, that's one thing that I hope I can take from K-Star. You know, he bought one of the red ones and um, I love the color. So I'm going to ask his family if I can take that as a keepsake. Um, speaking of his family, I just want to say I have a huge appreciation for them and how they've appreciated our friendship and basically pulled me along into being a part of the family. Um, one of the most morbid things I've never thought I would ask for or really want is to get some of someone's ashes. And it's weird, but, you know, his family said, yo, let's do it. You know, um, I've already ordered, the, it's like a, a necklace pendant urn that I can actually carry a part of my best friend with me on these travels. Like I said, I've made preparations for some really amazing trips, amazing adventures that I'm gonna take you guys on and continue the story of who Kurt, I'm about to call him Kurt Star, of who K-Star was, Kurt. You know, because in my eyes, he was the biggest star because he helped me a lot. Like I mentioned before, you know, things just happen strangely. Sometimes you just wonder why things happen. But for me, I always believe in going with the flow and trusting the process. And it was just so funny. Um, you know, I had a little bit of car issue and I told myself during that time that, yo, I'm going to take the time out to travel and I think I'm going to go to Miami. I'm going to go there for six weeks and I was fortunate enough to take Jilly with me because I thought that, you know, when you're dating someone, it's good for them to know the people that you rock with and for them to accept them or not accept them. And it's so funny that we went up during those six weeks to experience the last six weeks of his life. It's really strange if you ask me. But like I always say, things work out for a reason. And even in his passing now, yeah, there's a down period for me where I just feel like I don't want to post anything. But I know there's going to be the up period because his passing and the things that he has asked me to do in the case of his death and the efforts that he's asked me to continue to put forward. I'm a lot more prepared to do them. It's just really weird that people have to pass away for you to actually you know, honor their lives, I guess. It, it's, it's weird. But um, yeah, already I have like three, four trips planned, which I think is just going to be amazing. Now, the Christmas season is coming around. I know a lot of you guys might be young, might be old. You might have never really experienced the loss of someone that's close to you. But I'm just going to say to you, yo, during this time, gift these people. Like I said, there's one thing my friend um shared with me was always just gifting people and just showing love do we love to have a straight ass face i almost too. laughed at one point oh my god enjoy your good brother i see your dreams and i will do all i can to help you fulfill them oh shoot man <laughs> thanks brother <laughs> oh god got him <laughs> that's just a level of trust that i've been doing because and he was like, yo, do you need whatever else? I was like, yes. you know, just showing like real love to the people that you have around you and just compassion. So Christmas is coming around. Gift the people that you love. It could be anything. It could be their favorite video game, their favorite shirt, whatever the case is. People want some really crazy stuff as your gifts. But if you can afford it, do it. But the biggest gift that you can offer to anybody really and truly is your time. It's really weird. You know, and I'm happy that, again, I was able to spend this time with this amazing and wonderful human being. And I'm so happy that he's the way that he was so that all these stories, all these things I say are not made up because I can be just completely honest about it, you know? Now, you know, people will always say when someone passes, they would want for you to continue to achieve certain things and so forth. I know it's true when it comes down to my best friend. Reason being, um, you know, I was just talking to Julie just now because she was making dinner and she said that the family was thinking of not doing Thanksgiving. 
However, they know that's one thing that Kurt would want because Kurt was a big fan of food, loved to cook. I was happy enough that I was able to experience, you know, Christmas with him, him cooking and doing everything. Again, funny enough, like I said, the world has a really strange way of working. I was happy that I could share my food with him as well. You know, I've known him for about two and a half years around and it wasn't the latter part of his life that I actually got to share my expression through food with him. You know, going on the camping, that was the very first time he had to try the outdoor cooking that he watched in all those videos. And also when he came down a couple months prior was the first time I ever cooked anything for him. When I went to his house, he would do all the cooking because he was a big lover of food. Yeah, I mean, I could go on, I could keep saying a bunch of stuff or whatever the case is, but I just thought that I would just share this with you guys really quickly. And um, yeah, so I'm good. Jilly is good. Every day it gets a little bit better. Sometimes it's a bit scary how much better it gets because it's like the memory of the person. I don't know, it's kind of weird. It's like it fades which is something that I don't want to ever happen. You know what I'm saying? And I guess that's the beautiful thing about social media, you know, just doing YouTube or vlogging or posting things on Instagram that all of these stuff are cataloged, whether on the cloud, in your memory, on the phone, or just documented on YouTube where you can always go back and you can see how a person lived or your experiences with them. Anyway, again, gift the people you love and if you want hit up the coldest again i rock with them i hope you guys rock with them and i promise you you'll never be disappointed i have bought about four of the bottles already um i'm gonna hope that i get k-stars on so i can take it on trips with me um yeah I could say a lot more, but I'm, I'm going to end the video here. Hopefully sometime in December, I, you know, my, my meds will be collected enough where I can, um, I'll definitely post. Oh, if you guys want to see more videos, I have a couple of videos over on the GB channel. Also, Jilly has created her new channel as well. You know, so the link will be in the description box. If you guys can't find a description box and you're on my Instagram, the link will be in the description box of my Instagram. I hope you guys can find it there. And um, yeah, go over there, support her, watch the videos, you know, see her perspective on things and how she does stuff. And um, yeah, whenever I get the chance to drop content, it will be on soy sauce. I think I'll be doing more content on soy sauce and on Jibby for a while. But in January, you guys want to see a lot more. Anyway, remember to see things, love, nature, and adaptation. And always remember, keep the link.